Well, the first set of Year 11 and 12 curricula for the Australian curriculum have now been released. English, Mathematics, Science and History, four English courses, four Mathematics courses, four Science courses and two History courses after quite substantial consultation. We put out a first draft for the, the first set and on the basis of comments back, revised them, put them back out for another consultation and have now produced these final versions. And they're now about to be taken to the next stage. These ACARA senior secondary curricula will now fit into quite varied state arrangements. In each of the states there are authorities that run the assessment systems with external exams or other means that pro provide the reports to students on their performance and provide the certification arrangements. And, and these have to fit into that. They can't disrupt that. You can't expect states to run parallel arrangements. So they'll actually provide a common and agreed basis now for states working out what to do with them. And ACARA is going to work bilaterally with each of the states to determine the ways in which these new curricula will be integrated into courses in the states. And we're committed to reporting back to ministers at the end of 2013 on the progress uh, towards that integration. And timelines for adoption of courses in the states. Because at the senior secondary level, there are quite strong rules about how much notice has to be given to students coming through years nine, years 10, about what they will face in 11 and 12. So the first step on an important but long process. I think that one of the biggest strengths of the senior secondary English curriculum is that we have four very distinct uh, subjects that will be addressing the needs of, of um, different groups, uh, different cohorts of, of students, and also that um, we have quite a flexibility in the way that teachers can tailor each of the courses to meet the needs of those particular sets of students. I think the strengths are for so long we've been doing things very differently and in very diverse ways around the country. And having an Australian curriculum and a senior Australian curriculum means that we can consolidate the knowledge and experience of teachers and academics, consultants, and put it all together to get the best out of what everyone has to offer for students and teachers alike. I really think the strengths of the senior secondary English curriculum lie in the fact that we're going to have a common, uh, common set of goals across our country common set of curriculum standards and frameworks that are going to shape the experience of students. I really believe in the access and equity principles that stand behind a national curriculum. I think one of the biggest benefits for teachers is that um, there's the range of ways that they can actually deliver the course, so that they can tailor the course to um, for example, whether they're working with students in an urban or a regional or, or a very rural setting, but that they can also um, draw on contexts that are going to engage students. I would comment on this from the perspective of, of somebody who has been teaching now for more than 30 years, and I see that the real benefits lie in, in um, the advantages that accrue to both beginning and, uh, and more experienced teachers. For beginning teachers, it offers a starting point and a useful and, and practical one and for more experienced teachers it offers a timely reminder of the things that we value in our craft. Uh, the commonality of, of purpose that's derived from, from such a document means that we have a basis for a richer discourse in general about English teaching uh, in our nation uh, and uh, that offers uh, a foundation on, on which to build. Traditionally around Australia we've had very diverse curriculum and very diverse resources that we've used and uh, an Australian curriculum will enable us to share resources, share ideas. It'll also enable us to consolidate the knowledge and the experience that we have around the country and ensure that teachers are teaching courses that really can suit the best needs of their students. One important benefit of the senior 
English curriculum as it's configured now is, is that students, regardless of the state in which they completed their final years of, of education, can then move on to further study or other things, assured in, in the grounding that they have had in, in their studies in language and, and literature, uh, knowing that they have been, their achievements have been measured against common standards. There are definite benefits for students having a national English curriculum. I think that it's a very exciting time for Australia and a very exciting time for students in that for the first time we are going to have a common set of skills and abilities across the country. That's a very big thing and something that's never happened before. I think every student will find parts of the curriculum and units within the curriculum that satisfy her or his main interest and they can develop that as they wish while at the same time working through to a program that will ensure that they have the skills, the abilities, the understanding of themselves within the community, within their families, within themselves and within the wider world. So it is very much an international as well as a national curriculum and I think it is going to develop students with the abilities needed to live in the wider world. <laughs>